physical experience of music, the energy, the impact that you get at a concert or a club into the real world where you can have it everywhere and anytime you want. Bass is really the part of the music that connects you to the music physically. In a club you get that big energy from a big sound system. If you put on the music the next day and you just have headphones on, you're just missing that part. Whatever music you're listening to, it adds a physical element to it, which is something that you're totally missing normally in a home listening or on the go environment. People are pushing the envelope of what they can get out of those big systems with the way that they make the music. When we put, put the bass on someone's arm and we turn on the music and as soon as the beat kicks in, they have this big smile on their face because it really pulls you into the music. You listen to it, but you can also feel it in your body. <laughs> nice. It's just so intense. This song is going like more and more aggressive sort of on the bass and you wouldn't think that, you know, at the same pace and at the, you know, the same intensity that the bass level would be able to match it, but it is. That's pretty rad. So I got the, I can feel the kick drum, which is nice, and then like when the sustained bass notes come in, it's just like. And I think that's really the power of it is the ability to get that you know tactile, physical immersion uh, that you get with like sub bass. And yeah, in the end, it was just fun. I didn't want to take it off, you know. The bassnet has very high fidelity it matches exactly the waveform of the bass that we're trying to reproduce. For us, the main challenge was no technology existed that could do this in such a small size. So we had to create our own. You can differentiate between this melodic bass line and hard kicks. So even if the music is a melody and a kick in between, you can feel the difference. The drums, you can actually kind of feel them like toms and kick and stuff, I felt a bit more like I was in the room with it. Inside the baselet is amazing technology. We've built our own haptic engine, which takes up roughly half the space. We've got the other half, which is battery, to give a really long playtime. And we've managed to squeeze the electronics around the battery and the haptic engine. So there's hardly any room for the electronics, and it was a tough job to get it into this size. The bracelet is really designed as an everyday companion. You can hook it up to a smartphone, to a computer, you can hook it up to a laptop or a VR headset. 
Um, you can really use it with anything that you would use for, for listening to music, for playing games or watching movies. The bracelet's designed to be really easy to use. You just plug and play, basically. There's no app to load, there's no software to configure. Ideally, in the morning, you leave the house, you put it on, you put in your headphones. When you commute to work, when you're at work, whenever you want to listen to music out and about, I think uh, that's when the bass comes in. Bass actually has a really powerful energizing impact on you. And I think it's going to be great when you're out about jogging or doing sports, that it really elevates you, it kind of activates you and, and keeps you going. One of the cool things about the bracelet is that it hooks up to anything that has a headphone output. And so what I tried right away is hooking up to a synthesizer and you play a bass line and suddenly you have that physical impact of bass. You can feel the beats of the music you're creating. And if you're a DJ, you can also use the bracelet to get a sense of how the music will feel on a big sound system in a club. As well as for music lovers, I'm really making the bracelet for myself. I want to use it every day. And we're already at this stage and I'm really, really happy with that. Music is certainly the most important content in people's lives. So whatever chance I have to make that experience better, I'm gonna, gonna use it, I'm gonna jump on it. I wouldn't take it off, <laughs> to be honest. Stay.